His name is Choi So Bill, and he was a member of a gang. When he was 13, he took cocaine, and when he was 18, he committed robbery and was sent to jail. The world abandoned him. But now, he is the most famous and respected leader. What happened to him? Choi's parents were Cambodian refugees. When he was two years old, his family was exiled to the United States and Choi was raised in Long Beach, California. His family suffered economic hardships, so Choi couldn't go to school. Instead, he got along with b-boys who were dancing on the streets and he started learning how to dance. When he was 13, he joined a gang. He took cocaine and started getting tattoos all over his body. He felt joy by pointing a gun at the faces of people who looked down on him. He smiled cynically at the people who were shivering in fear and he got drunk every day. He went in and out of jail, but he never killed anyone. Though he almost killed a man during his last robbery. He was sentenced to three years in jail, and in addition, the judge said, I'll have you deported from America. Leave now. Toy was married and had a child. He begged the judge to allow him to stay in the States since he had a child to take care of. However, the judge didn't change his verdict. One night, he arrived in the most notorious slum in Phnom Penh, Cambodia. There, Toy witnessed a scene he had never seen before. Everyone, including children and adults, were exposed to drugs and they were sleeping and eating on the street without a place to stay. Most of them were diagnosed with AIDS and various diseases, and Toy thought it was as if hell was unfolding before his eyes. Although he had the blood of Cambodians, he didn't speak the language of Cambodia, and he knew no one in Cambodia. People were terribly poor, and there was no humanity at all. Everywhere he went, it was all about money. It was the worst situation ever. In America, many people were afraid of him, but in Cambodia, it was Toy himself who was in fear. There was only one place that supported him, a small NGO group in the region. He learned the Cambodian language at the school there, and his accommodation was at the communal shelter. Then, one day, a child came up to Toy. I want to dance. Please teach me how to dance. I heard you were a pretty famous dancer in America. It turned out that Toy had been dancing alone to dispel loneliness and fear, and the boy had been watching him. Toy began teaching the boy and more children came. No one in the world would have known that this would be the beginning of Tiny Toons, an organization that's driving innovation in today's Cambodia. Dancing was a great tool for education. The children were really interested in dancing. By dancing, they released a lot of energy. They loved putting knowledge into hip hop lyrics and rap. More and more kids quit taking drugs. The problem of drug addiction among young people in the country is really serious. Drugs are like viruses. When one person does it, 20 people end up doing it. But in order to enter the Tiny Tunes, you must prove that you've stopped doing drugs. Tiny Tunes has a strict regulation about drugs. Over the past five years, there have been more than 5,000 students and six branches have been created. The 20 new staff members who recently joined Tiny Tunes are all previous students of Tiny Tunes. With the support of companies around the world, Tiny Tunes now teaches not only b-boy dance, but also has classes related to 
professional DJing, anti-AIDS education, English, math, and computers. Toy Sobil has become the most respected leader in Cambodia. Do you know what the biggest regret in my life is? The time I spent as a gang member. I thought I was cool back then, but it was a waste of time. People say they respect me, but I say, in the past, I was a gang member, and now I'm just a deported mentor. I even tell my students, hey, I was in a gang. I did drugs and robbed people. But what do you think I look like now? I look much cooler than a gang member, right? I want to protect these students living in a tough world. Once they come inside the Tiny Toon Circle, anyone can have a fresh start without social discrimination.